so guys let's get into these next couple abilities um the first one first two are for your running back once again backfield mismatch matchup nightmare basically the same thing as backfield master backfield master is just all of this combined um we get into route technician slotomatic i use both of these on my uh andre reed and the reason is just to get an absolute domination on uh his cut and route technician allows him to do that do i really need route technician for him yes because he's not just running uh baby curls and things like that he's doing things that uh allow doesn't allow his rating to basically basically um give him the best you know route running so that's why i use route technician using both of them together um in the slot this allows him to get open a lot against uh certain coverages and things like that um curl specialist and post elite basically the same thing um as far as the um the code and things like that red zone threat which i am i i read pre making this video um it it looks great it says that you disable physics and force knockout um disable post catch knockout so once you have red zone threat it's basically a catch every time based off your back catch rating so for me i have gronk if i wanted to put red zone threat on gronk every time i throw it up to gronk he or throw it to gronk it should be an automatic catch and things of that nature um you block catch tackle outcome of a knockout you block the um mp catch outcome of a drop knockout and you if let's say i threw it in the air you force a mid-air outcome of a catch so like let's say i throw a high pass to gronk he has a baby curl in the back uh, or a curl in the back of the end zone i throw it high to him he goes up defender comes and tries to hit him automatic catch so that's what red zone threat does let's get into the last section oh last two sections we have satellite which is for the running back moss which is for wide receivers rack them up these are the x factors um x factor or moss we all have seen it basically you just you just go up and get it unless you're double teamed um double me same thing max security and rack them up so and basically satellite as well all three of these these things right here all help you catch the ball and either go or just catch the ball in general and it looks like you block your opponent from intercepting the ball all these abilities block if you're lit up with this x factor you block your opponent from catching a ball in a one-on-one -on -one situation so that's good to know let's move on and to whoa i just read something Catching force, press direction, defender is always wrong. So if you press someone who's lit up with with most, double me, rack them up, or max security, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you press. The defender is always wrong. This is highly, highly important because wide receivers are coming up, are coming out in a week. Wide receivers, NFL 100 wide receivers are coming out in a week. And you know what that means? That means that a lot of these dudes are going to have these uh, abilities already lit up. And you know what that means? It doesn't matter what you do, you're going to be wrong. <laughs> and so, like, uh, that's good to know. Let's let's get into these some of these other abilities. Let's see what the defense abilities uh, do exactly. Shut down. Um when you're lit up you get the win so if it, oh it's going to be tough playing some, some like let's say you play a passer who has wide receiver who comes out um NFL 100 and his ability he is already lit up if you have shut down and you're pressing you win or it just offsets that it, it's crazy how this game is uh turning out um zone hawk um, you basically force knockouts, basically. It's just a lot of knockouts um, or, or tackles and things like that. You force your opponent to drop the ball. Reinforcement. 
knockouts as well. The defender wins in certain situations. Um, unstoppable force. If the block defensive move outcome, the offensive wins. If you uh, force defensive move outcome, the defense super win. Um, if you block the defensive move outcome, the offense super win. Uh, upgraded, upgrade defensive win to super uh, off a of defensive move. And force defensive move outcome if the defense wins. Run stuffer is basically you have a, a, a shorter timer to basically get off the ball and, uh, you know, stuff, stuff a run or a block shed, basically. Let's see what else they have. Freight train, wrecking ball, running gun, gambler, fear monger, and bazooka. Freight train, you're just, you can break everything. Just break everything. That Just sum it up. You break everything. Wrecking ball. Stiff arm always breaks tackles, the uh, defender tackle. Defensive ratings is undervalued along with the truck. Run and gun, um, adjust pass away from defenders. Disable interceptions, gambler, adjust pass away from defenders, disable interceptions. Fear monger, pressure distance limit and pressure penalty mod. Bazooka, you have a max throwing distance override and extra distance before a Hail Mary pass and things like that. Let's get into the last set. Man up, zoned out, and universal coverage. Uh, everyone's getting closer to universal coverage, so I think I should go over that first. Or just go over that in general. Um, break on the throw time reduction percent. You have a force catch tackle outcome. A block catch tackle outcome. A force uh, catch outcome and force midair outcome, which is a knockout, and a defender wins on a cut. Um, I still believe ratings play a factor and things of that nature because I've seen animations and things work together where your defender plays amazing with, with like, man up. And then I've seen instances where, like, your defender plays man up and it doesn't work at all but let's get into the next one pass rush elite um you basically have a timer reduction and you have an upgraded uh defensive win to super and a defensive uh move win extra elite you have block shed you have signature interior rush animations you have signature edge rusher animations you have pressure distance limit and pressure penalty mod so it's looking like edge threat elite is the way to go if you're um if you have these new nfl 100 uh dns and things of that nature um we're not going to talk about edge threat because edge threat elite plus under pressure are base edge threat and under pressure combined is basically edge threat elite um, finesse specialist is basically upgraded pass rush elite power specialist and things of that nature and then we have strip specialist secure tackler unfakeable uh, enforcer tackle supreme tackle supreme is secure tackler and unfakeable together you be, uh, the tackle outcome is not broken you have a tackle distance you have um a force fake skill move outcome which is no fake at all out my way the defensive wins force impact outcome over tight ends wide receivers and running backs and lumberjack forced to man tackle outcome not broken on cut stick allow cut stick fumbles so that's what these abilities do exactly no outsiders inside stuff and goal line stuff you have a, a a timer reduction and you force a standard outcome on no outsiders inside stuff same thing and goal line stuff same thing so that's basically what these abilities do exactly so you know what you're buying in the uh for your players be sure to uh check out this twitter 
to basically get a better understanding if I didn't help you at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.